What's going on guys? So we are here at CNS getting another really innovative solution done to this truck. Now this is something a lot of you may have never seen before, but it's definitely something if you have any type of pickup truck and you deal with sway issues or sagging of the back of the vehicle or just axle wrap, you might want to take a look at. It's cost effective, definitely functional. Hang tight, you're going to want to watch this. So we have the back of the truck lifted off the ground. Robbie, what are we doing today? Today we're going to install a Roadmaster spring suspension kit. Okay, this is the active suspension, isn't it? Yes, sir. And it mounts around one side of the leaf spring, which once we see the instructions, we'll know what. And essentially at that point, it's putting one bracket on, adjusting it, and dropping it back down. This should be a really quick install. This is supposed to assist dramatically in terms of drivability, control, side-to-side -side motion, uh, keeping the truck from squatting too much in the back. Pretty much every type of scenario you can deal with with a pickup truck while you're towing or hauling, this is supposed to help address. Now, before we even decided to put this kit on, we did a lot of research on it to make sure that it does what they actually claim it does. And you can search all over the internet. People that have this system on their vehicle absolutely love it. I think I've only found a few reviews where people said it didn't seem like it did a lot of difference. But for the most part, people seem to really, really enjoy this system that we're going to be installing today. Okay, we are cracking into this Roadmaster box. Again, this is the Roadmaster Active Suspension System. Improves vehicle handling, control with and without a load, adds strength to the leaf springs, will not harshen the ride, eliminates axle wrap, wheel hop, it's supposed to improve fuel economy, not really sure how that one works, and it's made to fit pretty much every pickup van or SUV with rear leaf springs. Shouldn't take any really, really major uh, work to install it, no welding, drilling, or cutting, no maintenance or adjustment required ever once it's all set up. Comes with a two-year warranty, satisfaction guaranteed. So let's get this thing installed. Um, you know how Ram has the rear coil that really helps out the rear and really helps to smooth things out? Mm -hmm. well, it's like you're adding a coil to a leaf, so you may get the best of both worlds with this. Yeah, it's kind it's of interesting to... how it works. It looks like you're actually trying to extend the coil or compress it. It's hard to say specifically, but the coil is already compressed, so I guess the process of installing this, you're actually extending a coil. It's kind of like the reverse system. Yeah. It's... Definitely robust. You know, there was somebody that did a review on this, a long-term review with about 80 or 90,000 miles on YouTube, and they yeah. said the system pretty much looked in mint condition even after that period of time. So the system looks well built. So what Robbie did was simply take the back of it and hook it around the back portion of the truck. So this is gonna be towards the rear end of the truck. Hooks around the back of the leaf spring. And the bracket just kind of drops down like this. And all he's really gonna do is feed a bolt through there and then we're gonna make our adjustments on this side of it. So the orientation of this bracket, of course, is that this long piece in this part up here is on the top side of the leaf spring. If you try to flip this over, it's just not gonna function. So there's really only one way to install it. So for safety reasons, we've chalked the front tires to make sure that the truck isn't able to roll because last thing we want is to kill Robbie because Robbie's our guy. and. We don't want to kill our guy. Please don't. All right. He oh. is going to be attaching this long bolt along with spacer. Down here. I don't like to just stand around. You want me to hold this Allen wrench for you? Yeah. Hold on. There you go. Uh, 
So it's been tightened up exactly where it needs to be. It comes with two spacers to check that you space in between the coils, and you can see the little bit of light that comes through the coils. The first one's gonna be a white one, which is really thin. It's supposed to give you 25% additional carrying capacity. Um, I don't know if that's exactly accurate because you're not really able to increase the carrying capacity of a truck, but what it's supposed to do is make the springs act as if they have the ability to handle an additional 25%. The black disc is thicker, and that's what we set it for here, and it actually improves it up to 40%. So when you set it on the black disc, as far as handling, sway control, and the ability to resist uh, a load from really making the back end squat, the black disc is gonna be the one that is more extreme, and that's the one we used here. Once that's done, you're gonna tighten the two nuts at the end there. The first one you're gonna tighten down, the second one you're gonna tighten up against it to prevent it from coming off or coming loose. So we're done tightening all of the nuts and bolts, making sure everything is properly secure on the passenger side, onto the driver's side. Perfect. Well, this side was a lot quicker than the other side once you realized exactly what tools you needed to get it tight and adjusted. All right, dropping the truck down. So the truck's been lowered back to the ground. It looks like the back of the truck is sitting probably about an inch and a half higher than it was, which isn't too bad, really. He plans on putting a, a three inch lift on it or leveling kit up front, but overall, it's sitting pretty good. It's not too bad because if you look at the running boards, you can tell the running boards are at about the same angle that they used to be. So it may not even be an inch and a half higher in the back, honestly. Let's take this thing for a test drive, see how it runs. So before we back it out, we're sending Robbie on a mission to hop up and down in the back of the truck. He works on these trucks, so we wanna see if he notices a difference as far as bounce control. There's definitely some resistance there, that's for sure. More resistance than normal? Do we have another F-150? Anywhere out here? Uh, no. Super Duties. Got some Super Duties, but that's not really fair. Just so you guys can see how many Super Duties they have out here. They have a Ram over there. They have a Chevy over there. Nope, over here. Oil filled trucks. Oh, we found one. So they happen to have another XLT here that Robbie is going to do the bounce test on the back of. Oh, yeah. What's the difference? All right, so this one bounces a lot easier than the, uh, the one with the Roadmasters on it. So as I've told you guys in previous videos, I always recommend if you do a suspension enhancement, this isn't really for marketing, but that you put any stickers or decals on the inner fender right here, mainly because if you take the vehicle to a mechanic and they need to remove the tire and you forget to tell them that you have something, they're not just kind of stumbling around trying to figure out what modification you have. They can see, okay, this truck has a Roadmaster active suspension. I know how to remove it. I know how to reinstall it. And it gives you a little bit of peace of mind that they at least see that there's something aftermarket that's been done to it. Otherwise, you may run into a scenario where they take it off, they have no idea what it is because there's really no branding on it, and then when they go to reinstall it, they don't do it correctly. At least this way, they can determine if they need to take it off and leave it in the bed of the truck, or if, you know, maybe they need to go on YouTube and watch a video from Big Truck Big RV on how to put it back on. So we are going to take the truck on a quick test drive to see how it feels. Robbie's been in hundreds of these, so he'll know. And of course, Patrick owns this and he puts enough miles on it that he's going to know the difference. So we're going to hear from them while we're taking this truck out to see if they notice anything different about how this truck performs now that we have the Roadmaster active suspension installed on the back. This is about a $450 upgrade, so it's definitely not one that's going to break the bank. Traditionally, if you wanted to lift the back up slightly and add some type of uh, enhancement to the suspension, you're going to spend about that much. It's usually going to be by way of a super spring, getting it installed, or an add -a leaf or an airbag system.
Okay, so we are off. Let's see how this runs. This looks like a pretty crappy road. I was really expecting the ride to be super harsh in the back. And I'm just telling you guys, I mean, I was really expecting that that back suspension was going to be increased so much in firmness that you would just feel it as a jarring ride. But it feels very smooth still. I don't know if it's, you know, any firmer than it was or any harsher than it was, but to me, it still feels incredibly smooth, even considering the rough roads that we just went on. Guys, this is a really cool product. It's definitely one that has surprised me. You know, the overall cost of getting the equipment plus having it installed is definitely what I would consider in that lower cost entry level price point, but you're getting a pretty sophisticated setup that is very easy to install and at the same time, zero maintenance, has adjustability, and it works just very well. So far, I've been really surprised. So from a labor perspective, Robbie, what would you generally figure this type of install would be cost-wise? Um, looking at like the instructions, uh, the Super Duty would take a little bit longer. I'd probably do a two-hour charge on that. It'd be about 160 bucks, whereas uh, this would be about a one-hour one charge, 30 minutes per side. Um, probably cost about 80 bucks or something, something close wow. to there. So about 80 bucks to get this installed on a 150 or a half-ton truck and about $160 to get it installed on a three-quarter ton truck. Now keep in mind, this is designed for leaf spring trucks. So if you have a Ram 1500, a Ram 2500 that has rear coil springs, this isn't gonna work for you. You have to look at a different type of setup. But for this type of setup, it's super easy to install. It works really well. You know, I'm definitely pleased with it, and I'm surprised at the same time. So that's that's a big one for me. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel. I will put the link to the information on this system in the description of the video. I'll talk to you again very soon.